Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 and uh, we're here at Lizzie's or at Moxie's. I guess that is Lizzie's, huh? Yeah, Lizzie's bar is the Moxie bar. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we need to come back later at night. Hey, hey, haven't I seen you here before? You sure have. Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chu. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come round. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. Oh. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Even after hours, huh? Just nice. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? I wouldn't dream of it, girl. Wouldn't dream of it. How you doing? Whoa, whoa, start again. Hey, I thought you guys were closed. I've been lied to. That don't work. I don't know. Use lead. I, I don't care. I just want my room back. Hey, you good? Your pimp threw you out, that it? Told me I was generating losses, then just said, have a Bar's nice closed. life and slam the damn Why are you here? Okay, so everybody who's here are just moxes. Judy's embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back here. Why are you talking about Judy that way, huh? Why are you talking bad about Judy? Huh? Huh? Rude. You done with that, will you? Yep. Back to the bump and grind. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Hey, Judy. You good, girl? You just don't give up, do you? Nope. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high, or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the Mox? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why, so you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist? Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Okay. Got ourselves a lead. Clouds bar. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. Anytime, Judy. Anytime. Pan Am. Hey, V, thanks again for having my back. Lately, I feel like I'm just ranting and raging, so I just want to make sure you know I appreciate what you did for me. Shit, that came out way too formal. You know what I mean? It's cool. Don't worry about it. How's the Panzer shaping up? Mitch, Bob, and Carol are still putting the pieces together. Looks like they're having fun. Cassidy's providing moral support. I'll be in touch soon. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. 
Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Okay, let's go get Evelyn. Club's closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? Don't be soft. Uh, heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? It's not. Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. Might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. Guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses at sheer cost, too. Why, looking to invest? No, just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by, that's all I'll say. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot? Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first, just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. All right. It's a good talk, Susie. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. All right. Well, I'm sure I'll be back. Yeah, we already got that one. yesterday. Half price on everything. You good, bro? He's like, I saw nothing.
way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Um, I think I'm gonna go with getting off. Thank you. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arisaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brained dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild whore chase. So having a grand old time. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Follow your instincts. All right. So hold on. You take the blow up doll, remodel the hole, and, and that's cheating. That's infidelity. Uh, no. Well, how's that any different? Okay, can't hack those. Meat, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. This empty. Sit and wait until evening. Okay. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Okay. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes why are you gonna say it like that Our girl system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky looking for an evelyn parker she work here hmm give me a moment Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. You're missing the point. Huh. I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef. Point blank. So who will it be? Angel? Meaning? Or Sky? Meaning you go in as a customer. Keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close. Fine. 
We'll play our own game. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Okay. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Don't worry, Sad. all your grown up Go toys eat a dip, will Johnny. be safe with us. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. You can see into the rooms. All right, that dude's getting slapped. Whatever you're into, bro. Maybe that's part of his experience. That's what he wanted. You can kind of see somebody in that one. Just sitting there. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. The whole wall moves up, okay. Hi. Hi. I'm Sky. Hi, Sky. And you must be looking for Evelyn. Valerie. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Okay, Valerie's the real name. Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V. You're dying. Jesus. <laughs> Straight to the safe word. How do you know that? How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. You just kind of talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. What's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. I 
That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else, forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. <sighs> so what now? You find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go and it won't stop you now but how do i keep up with everything that's changing you have been keeping up you've made an impact not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else likewise you Never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Wow, what a strange thing to happen. <laughs> it's a little uncomfortable, isn't it? Just because you know that it's like... It's just the fact that they were able to jack into your mind, basically, through your connection to their system. And so they, like, know very intimate things about you. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? And the truth of it all right there, and that makes it feel even grosser, you know? Like they're not even in control of themselves doing this. They're There's basically kind of taken over by an algorithm. It's fucking crazy, dude. Gotta say, that wasn't what I expected. I was hoping for thrills, not some gloomy, soul-searching debate. Look, baby, I don't decide what happens in here. Your subconscious drives everything. <laughs> Next time, remind me to tell my subconscious to go fuck itself. <laughs> um, just don't tell anyone about this, okay? I came here to talk to you, Sky, not some soppy algorithm. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. 
Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. Hmm. I mean, we certainly have the eddies. God, look at that one. If you're done here, I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you, your eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Oh, I hate that. God damn it. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody would care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since, um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. You got it, Sky. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. Man, the whiplash of, like, her being in her algorithm mode and then, like, coming out of it? Whew. What an awful job. What an absolutely awful job this is. Not bad, but it would be much better, Rio. I would eat those thighs. All right, buddy. What do you mean? I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you, here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. <sighs> Can I close this? I, mean, I would love to close that. No, I guess I can't. Okay, let's go to Evelyn's booth first, though. At least I would hear no laments about that. Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. I don't like it, man. I don't like it at all. 
Hmm. What's this? Shit. The hell? Well, the client wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What, what is happening? Think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. Yeah, I and guess. That runner? Weird. Okay, so that's it for here, huh? Stands to fuck me up the quickest. Hard day? More like hard life. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh. I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deeds. I'm not a customer. Here to talk. To you, specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. A shorts button up and a jacket. That's a... That's a choice. Need to get in touch <laughs> with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah. Uh... You know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got he's, it. he's the pimp. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. You're being kind of a prick, dude. They're just surviving the only way they know how. And man, it's a job I would not envy.
really? Some real action! Gotta be another way in. Chill, keep calm. I'm looking for a girl. Interesting word choice for someone who plowed through massacring all along the way. Things got out of hand, I'll admit. But cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Well, aren't you the queen of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? How was I supposed to <laughs> do this? I guess, uh... Huh. Let, let, let's reload and see if we can do that without pissing everybody off. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. Okay, what does this do? Alright, 55, 55, 55, 7A. And then if I can get an E91C. Okay, 55, 55, 55, there's no 7A there, okay, so that one won't work, 55, 55, 55, 7A, okay. Then E9, 1C. Yeah, that's all that one is, huh? I literally thought he was looking the opposite direction. He was not. Maybe you noticed. Clients allowed in here. Well, I'm here, Break aren't I? Here and close the door on the way out, would ya? Or as you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho bitch who's never been ghosted by her bill or bow before. But go on. I'm listening. 
I got mantis blades, dude. Don't try me. You've got info, I've got eddies. It's a fair trade. What's your price? You need to pull your head out of your ass. Eddies will buy you a horse here, not snitches. I look like either of those to you. Oh well, can't say I didn't try playing nice. Better think real hard where you want to take this. Cause you're really starting to piss me off. Clouds is under Tiger Claw control, isn't it? It's none of your fucking biz. Guessing you heard about Jotaro Shobo? Uh, Shobo had an accident. What Shobo had was a very unfortunate meeting with me. Just happened to be his last. Wouldn't want this to be your last meeting, would ya? <laughs> of course not. Never wanted to be anything like Shobo. We gonna be cool Girl about this? Looking for, Parker. She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like where is she? Think you know how things work around here, but you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their jobs to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit? No denying that, sadly for her. Saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something? Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common, these kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioral chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. This you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, he said he knew something or other. You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn? <laughs> Please. <laughs> you got me. Rip is the one who paid me. I don't like the sound of that. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know, considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> you took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. I only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call, if there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Oh, I hate this. Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crit. People like you deserve a special place in hell. Eh, people like you need to come up with better insults. We done here. The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better.
Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. Nope. He doesn't get to live. Can we access his computer? No. Dude. Dude. That's what's on his computer. This is what's next to his computer. Good riddance, you piece of work. Turn your weapons. Hey, I don't know anything. I just work here. It's all right. You're not the problem here. I wouldn't hurt you. Okay. Oh, makes me angry. This was, I think this was the, um, I think this was one of the missions that I was actually working on when I dropped the game the first time. And I don't think I ever saw it all the way to the end, so I'm actually glad to be doing this here. Um, okay, so let's take the revolver. Additional zoom, range, and crit chance. Cool, we'll take it. Okay, we got a prick point somewhere. It slows time by 25% for you and enemies when focus is active. Sure, why not? So hold on. Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? That's infidelity. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. Of course you do. You'd have loved to drop an H-bomb on this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. Pink Fingers has got her. Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see them that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. You done? Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest from around the world. The Lunarine Sky uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Novosibirsk in southern Siberia <coughs> is concluded with a happy ending. As you recall, hey, v, you all right? 
I'm gonna go with a big old no. Look, hey look. See that? Fuck those cunts. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. You're a dirt girl from Haywood who found the guts to walk a few extra blocks from home. But turned out the best you can do is chase scabs for any. You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. You sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Don't think I care. What does interest me is why you're a clingy creep. I think we can work together, V. But your plans make no sense. Destroy Arasaka? I don't even know what that means. All in good time. Not having control. You can't stand it. Seeing some things are out of your hands. Don't be ridiculous, V. Whole world used to revolve around Silverhand. Now, no one gives a shit. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V. I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day. And just like that, he's gone again. Okay. Call Judy optional. I don't see it as optional. We're calling Judy. B. You called. <laughs> Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing. Keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently, they carted her off to a ripper dock goes by fingers. Oh, shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later V. Okay. Off to Jig Jig Street, then. Oh, man. This quest hurts a little bit. It's a tough one. It's definitely a tough one. Man. Okay.
Oh nice, the regen one has been upgraded to tier 4 too. Alright, we're gonna start working on the air dash. Okay, so this is where we're going to end this episode. In the next episode, we're going to head to Jig Jig Street and uh, see if we can find our girl Evelyn Parker. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Dennis McKinnon, Turkeyfoot27, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.